Hello, this is Brenda Dean, and today I want to introduce you to the Stampin' Up! Paper Cutter. It's made by Fiskars, which is a great name in the cutting tool industry. And while Fiskars makes other paper cutters, I really like the one that they make for Stampin' Up! because it has all these uh, uh, card stock sizing on it. Two by three and a half, three by five, four by six. So that kind of helps you uh, gives you some ideas on how to cut your cardstock. The other thing I like is that it has two blades. The cutting blade comes standard with it, but you can also purchase a scoring blade. And I like to keep my scoring blade on my um, cutting arm because that way I won't lose it. And if anybody's ever seen my stamping room, sometimes you'd agree I'd lose things. So what will Another great thing about this is it has an arm. It swings out and allows you to cut cardstock in one dimension up to 15 inches. This dimension will cut up to 12. So today what I want to do is take a piece of 8.5 by 11 inch cardstock. This is the new in color Wisteria Wonder and I actually want to cut it so that we can make two cards out of it. Um, so I'm going to cut it at the five and a half inch mark. So what I'm going to do is swing out my arm and place it so oops, so that we can get it on camera. And then I'm going to lift up my cutting arm and align it up with this lip. There's a lip here so it can't go any farther and I'll keep it straight. And I'm going to line this edge up at five and a half inches. I know it's difficult to see, uh, but trust me, the markings are very clearly marked here. So I'm going to put down my cutting arm, and then I'm just going to move my cutting blade up in the cutting arm track, and now I have two pieces. This piece here can either be just folded manually and uh, or what you can do is use the scoring blade. So this is one of the great things that I think is leaving it the scoring blade in here is all I have to do is lift the arm up, place it so it's at four and a quarter inches, make sure that this is um, up firmly against this lip and then I just run my scoring blade through. And what this will give us is a nice little little valley on which to fold. And this side will have a hill. So I'm going to turn and fold it so that the valley is in, crease it, and there I have my card. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like more techniques like this, please join the How to Wow Paper Crafting Technique Club and receive a new technique and instructions in your inbox every 14 days. The website to learn more and to register is shown on your screen. Thanks and have a great day.